This is Nathan from New Life Scientific, and today we're going to talk about a 2016 Applied Biosciences ProFlex thermocycler that we have in stock. Yes, 2016. So this thing's only three years old. Uh, it has less than, I think, 1,200 cycles on it, uh, though we can explore that today in the menu if you'd like to see it. It's a good looking instrument. Uh, you all know what a thermocycler is, but the, one of the champion features of the ProFlex is that it has interchangeable blocks uh, and maybe some that you're not used to. There's a three by 32 well block. This one's installed with a classic 96 well block. But what you'll notice is that it has some little rubber separators here. And we'll talk about why it has those, um, but it's allowing you to run individual runs for each one of those six sections on this block. Uh, some simple outer features worth noticing. It's got a USB port so you can export your run information. Um, there is a Wi-Fi port in the back um, for uh, attaching a USB Wi-Fi uh, communicator. So it's not really a Wi-Fi port, it's a USB port, but it's intended for a Wi-Fi card. This does include a little quick reference guide, which does include some uh, token information about some of the consumables that you might run on this instrument. So it may be handy to have around. It also talks about them in relationship to uh, what well block uh, you're running. You got 96 well, 32 well. So um, handy information there. And then a little user guide, uh, which we've printed double-sided. You're gonna wanna remove this clip when you use it. So it's nothing, actually I don't think we printed this. It came in this way. But it's handy to have around. Uh, nobody has to look up on the computer. Sometimes paper is just better. So uh, I haven't used a ton of thermal cyclers, to be honest. This may be the first one I've had hands on. But I found this an incredibly easy to use instrument. So um, you can click the center to set up a run. Um, and you can open a method or open templates or just do a raw incubation run and just let this puppy sit for a long time at whatever temperature you may desire. I'm sure there's an upper and lower limit, but you get the idea. Um, but as far as uh, operating and manipulating runs, this instrument is really cool. So you can open some methods that are already installed in here, like a universal PCR amplification uh, method. And it's gonna show you your three stages in the method, and as well as different steps in the method. It shows you the temperature that it's gonna run at in each step, and it's gonna show you how long it's running in each step on this chart. Below, you'll see how many cycles it's going to do of each stage. So that's the usefulness of a stage. You can repeat stages, and you can have multiple steps in the stage. Uh, you also set the cover temperature. Uh, you can set the volume of the reaction. Um, so I'll show you how to manipulate one of these runs. It is a cakewalk. So if you want to go just manipulate temperatures, you can do that right here on this screen. So hit any temperature you like, uh, and you can change it to, say, 40. You can change how many minutes you want. Say you want three minutes or you want 45 seconds. And boom, I've changed it. And you'll see it, it shows that on the graph. Um, so this is where you can do the basic alterations. You can also modify the amount of cycles. So if we just wanted to do one cycle for demonstration purposes. So uh, very straightforward, super easy to change these, these parameters. And if you want to get more nitty gritty, you can remove steps and add steps right here on this graph or remove entire stages or add entire stages. And boy, this is really, really easy to use. I mean... This is not a clunky GNAMP 9700. Okay, I don't know, maybe you like those. I've never used a GNAMP 9700. But this is, you know, some people might have a touch screen and it may not feel good, but this is super easy to use. So here's where you can remove entire steps from your process and just have a big old time with your, uh, with your run. And then you can get down to advanced options. Advanced options allow you to simulate another uh, thermal cycler and what this means is it's going to simulate the ramp up speeds of any one of these thermal cyclers that you choose so that's pretty cool there are some um, restrictions based on what block you're using but you can figure those out yourself another cool feature is ramp rate you can change the ramp rate leading into each uh, state uh, step of your stage your maximum ramp rate is six centigrade per second um, I don't know if there's a minimum but you can just change it to one if you wanted to. So if you want some gradual changes, you can do that. So that's really cool. Um, and then another really cool advanced option here, uh, which 
has a lot of uses and some flexibility, again, you're talking a ProFlex, is you can modify the individual temperatures, like I said earlier, of these blocks for each step of your run. So uh, if you don't have a lot of samples, but you want to run different reactions, you can set up multiple reactions on the same block up to six different reactions. So if you're not a high throughput lab as far as a single run, but you have got a lot of different things you're wanting to experiment with, this gives you that flexibility. So uh, I'm going to just make this a really short run so you can see it operate. Um, and so you don't have to watch me set this up, but you can if I want to. I'm just going to move all these to like 15 seconds um, so that we can see this puppy actually do something cool. Because I know that's why you're watching this video. You're thinking, Nathan, menus are great, but let's see some action. Okay, so, and maybe we'll have some fun. We'll just change the ramp rate on uh, one more of these things so we can see how it can uh, change its ramp rate. Um, let's show you how quickly it can cool down. Let's just, let's just test it. It's going to cool down to to four Celsius, uh, which I'm not sure how it's gonna possibly achieve that. That might just be in its minimum setting at six uh, centigrade per second. Okay, so once we've got everything happy, uh, we're gonna click verify block. Um, it wants us to verify the method and change it. I can add a comment. I haven't explored what this is, but this would I'm guessing when export on your rung, you can look up the details on that yourself. Um, we're confirming the block. We're gonna hit start run and it's going to get started. So as you can see, I am a novice at this instrument and I have no problem setting up a run. So if, you know, Bob the lab assistant has never used a thermal cycler, he's not gonna struggle learning this one. And let's face it, this is probably the future of, of lab equipment. So might as well get on board now, right? So this tells you the status of the run. Um, I forgot to change the time on this, but I believe yeah, it'll tell us the start time and the end time. This thing's got bonkers start time and end times right now. But that's really cool. You know when to come back to the instrument and when your reaction is finished. So this could be useful uh, for budgeting your time in the lab. All right, so now we've entered stage two. Uh, and there's only one step in stage two. I just thought I'd give you a chance to see this thing amp up at, uh, or ramp up at six degrees, six degree increments. And here we go. So you can see this is, has plenty of power. Do what you might want it to do. All right, and we're going to go ahead and just stop the run here. Stop the current run. Boom. And it's going to bring this thing down to temperature. You actually, if, if you could, you'd hear the fan running on the block. So that is the Applied Biosystems. ProFlex system from New Life Scientific. Give it a look. This is a good instrument if you're planning on maybe changing your method, wanting to do 384 blocks in the future or 296 blocks and boosting your throughput. Uh, and it's in good shape. So update your lab, move to a current instrument, and you know, kiss that GNAMP 9700 goodbye. Thanks for watching.